Alright everyone, welcome back to another system test with the ADT Unimode 10UD conventional 10 zone fire alarm control panel. As you can see in this test we have some EST alarms. Right up here this is actually an EST chime strobe and if we look at the back of the alarm you can see the model is G1R-CVM and the strobe is set on 75 candela and it's actually being coded from the fire alarm control panel to system sensor sync which gives it sort of a slow march time and it allows it to have audible silence. Looking over here we have another EST alarm. If we look at the back as you can see it is the EG1AV horn strobe and as you can see it has an LED strobe which is a little bit new and the strobe is set on 15 candela. Going down for pull stations we have two 270 SPOs. This one is branded by EST and the other one is branded by the company Me. So both are pretty much the same. As you can see they both have a slightly different shade of paint and that just might be because this one's a little bit newer and this one's older. But uh, we'll be pulling both those today and then also we will be pulling the tornado alarm and I also wired up this yellow LED strobe or amber LED strobe to the tornado alarm so you'll get to see that. So this one right here was the first DST pull station I ever got and it was used as you can see. It was replaced from a building in 2006 and the building had at least 164 devices so it must have been a large system. We'll go ahead and pull it today. It's metal as you can see it's metallic and it just says fire alarm pull in case of fire. So. It's pretty simple. You just pull in case of fire. Here we go. I think I forgot to mention this, but I have this alarm right here set to California code. And because of that, when it stops, the strobe will discontinue flashing. And when it's silenced, it won't flash as well. And then this one, I already talked about that. So there it is in silenced mode. And we can go ahead and re-alarm the system with the second pull station. Here we go. You get the point of it. I think it's kind of an interesting combination of sounds and I have not personally heard this combination before on a system test on YouTube or in a building. So now that the pull stations are pulled, we now get to reset them. Yay! Okay, so resetting these pull stations, both of them reset the same way. You just put a screw in the top, twist it, and this part comes down. Then you flip the switch, lift the lever back up and then snap it in. It's pretty simple. This one I have to take off the smoke detector head right here just because it gets in the way of the uh, screwdriver. And there we go. Now that these pull stations are set back to their normal position we can go ahead and reset the entire fire alarm control panel. Now we can go ahead and pull the tornado alert alarm and see what happens. As I mentioned earlier, this LED amber strobe is wired in with the siren. So we'll go ahead and see both of them activate. So just push 
and pull. That siren's pretty loud, isn't it? I just have it wired into this 14 volt DC transformer and it just plugs in and that's what powers the siren. I like doing that. <laughs> so now that that very loud siren is silenced, we can go ahead and reset the pull station. and reset the panel. There's that strobe. And I guess since we haven't used the enunciator today, we'll use the enunciator to reset the system. Reset. All right, everyone. I think that's gonna do it for the system test today. Thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.